legislation and the transposition of the audiovisual media services directive was involved in, in the negotiation of that, which has measures as well to protect uh, children in it. And Minister, you are to be commended to get uh, secure the commitment to appoint the online safety commissioner. This is something that was clear to me prior to any of the controversies that was uh, urgently needed in this country, and I had to hope to do it back in 2018. But uh, due to circumstances outside my control, that didn't happen. But it must be properly resourced, Minister. And there needs to be a mechanism in place uh, where people can have their rights enforced. I'll give you a practical example of that. A study by the journal.ie uh, of 70 posts on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram in July of last year that were reported by the HSE to the industry regarding misleading information in relation to COVID-19 Six weeks later, 53 of those posts had not been taken down. Minister. Um, thank you. Just in relation to the expert group, the expert advisory group will be examining uh, a proposal that I recognise raises, as I said earlier, the, the complex legal, legal and practical issues. For, for example, in the, in the legal context, there is the complexity in the Irish constitutional and legal context of upholding the the fundamental rights of and respect in due process requirements for complainants, online services and indeed the uploaders of content subject to complaint. From a practical perspective, there are questions regarding the design resource implications. Um, but for, for that reason, I believe that the expert advisory group, uh, which I will announce in, in the coming days, will need to be able to draw from a wide and diverse range of expertise and experiences. So I, I can let you know that, that that's the expertise I'm seeking. So I'm looking for legal expertise, particularly in the complexities of regulation the online world, knowledge of and expertise in the operation of complaint systems in other uh, contexts, experience in protecting the the protection of children's rights in an online environment and knowledge of and expertise in the practical requirements such as resourcing uh, and organisation required Thanks, to Minister. operate an individual complaint Every system. Month. The reality is that if we don't get the situation right here, there will be a push at EU level to have an EU-wide regulatory re regime. So it's in the interests of the tech industry here in Ireland to ensure that there is a robust and transparent and well-resourced system uh, in place in this country, and they should proactively work with you in relation to that. And I put it to you again, Minister, that if the health service executive here in Ireland, who had got a commitment from all of the tech companies after the outbreak of COVID-19, that they would proactively take down disinformation. If the HSE can't get the tech companies to do it, what hope has an individual? And finally, Minister, in light of the debate that we had here yesterday, as you know, Dr Ian Richardson um, has published uh, research that shows significantly higher levels of abusive messages focused on female councillors and senators uh, uh, compared to their male counterparts, and that this is being generated by party supporters. What will we, as a parliament, do to ensure that that practice uh, is addressed? Minister, to conclude. Um, thank you. In, in relation to disinformation, it's, it's primarily been dealt with through the EU Code of Practice and Disinformation, which is linked to the forthcoming D Digital Services Act, which you'll be aware um, Deputy Nocton um, is still under negotiation. Um, but in relation to, to getting it right, I think that's why this Commission must have real teeth, which it, which it does, up to you know, uh, investigations, search warrants, um, the, the fines of 20 million or, t you know, or the percentage of whichever is more of their, their turnover. Um, up to including criminal liability and actually t taking down uh, the, 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 the platform. Um, in relation to the, the timetable, um, I'm hoping to move as swiftly as possible um, with this. Um, it will be initiated in the, the Shannad, um, and that I've, I've written to the, the committee, um, Deputy Munster, which you um, are part of, allowing time for the bill to be considered by that House, and then the recommendations of the expert advisory group will be taken account of in committee stage in the Dáil, and it will be uh, the committee that you're part of that will do that, and I hope that will help speed it up. Um, and just in relation to the EU-wide basis, uh, the, I suppose the ba major issues there is that the four 450 million um, that, that we would have to use it. If the platform is based in, in Ireland, then, then we are the, the, the country in charge of that regulation, and that's why all eyes are on us. Okay, question Thank you. 17.